Jordan, uh, uh, 69 today, the conditions the way they were, the course the way it was, how, how good did that feel? Yeah, it felt like a great round. Um, you know, I, it was nice to, to, to beat a tough golf course. You know, I, I did that on Sunday at the PGA and then a place that um, historically has been, I think, the best place for me as a professional at Colonial to miss a cut there was just um, was such a bummer. And so to come out and put good work in, have, you know, feel really healthy and, um, you know, get a lot of short game work in and get my touch, feel like my touch is back. Um, it, it really it started on the first hole today. I mean, um, I feel like a bunker play is one of the strengths of my game. And the last couple tournaments, it's been, you know, uh, really poor, actually poor enough to, to not allow me to have a chance to win golf tournaments. And, um, I hit a pretty fantastic shot there and it just gave me a lot of confidence. Like, all right, my entry points back. I feel good about, um, you know, sliding the club under the ball, stuff like that and scrambled really well. I didn't strike it particularly well at all. Um, but I don't feel like that's far off. I feel like it was actually like kind of an off day in that. And I got away with a lot by the way I scrambled. 68 leading a, a tournament, any tournament major or not is, is kind of unusual. Uh, did you try it? Did get your attention when you got here and did it live up to your expectations? Yeah, I was, this is one of those tournaments you kind of, you look at the app and you see where everyone's hitting shots and what they're making and, um, you know, where they're leaving it to certain pins. Like you pay more attention to it because you just have to think your way through this course so much. Um, and especially when it gets like this. So, I mean, that U.S. Opens are led with four under to start the round. So um, they have the ability to do, I think, whatever they want with the greens and, and really the golf course here. Um, so I don't expect it to get, you know, absurd uh, like it could other places. But um, it, I don't think it's going to be any easier. So I, I would imagine single digits and maybe even, you know, maybe even low single digits. So having said that, I don't think you approach it any differently. I mean, that's how I thought about today's round was just trying to shoot something under par. What made it so tough, particularly today? Well, the course is just really firm and fast. And then, I mean, the rough's up and the fairways are bouncing more than normal. You know, we normally get rain here. So, you know, you can talk about the green surfaces, but they were, they were appropriately firm, I thought, and extremely pure. Probably the best surfaces I've ever putted on in an afternoon on a Thursday. Um, it, you really just didn't have to fix hardly anything. I, I was shocked at how how fantastic they were. Um, but it's really just it. All the fairways are like half the width that they normally are, and I think that's what makes it such a challenge. Because if you miss them, you really almost can't. I mean, there's only a couple of greens you could hold. So I thought playing, you know, playing seven and eleven really well was was important. Um, having two eagle putts there and. Uh, and, and that's what you got to do. You got to try and play the par fives under par and, and hold on on the rest. 16, 17, 18 were, were, yeah. were the hardest courses, yeah. the hardest holes. What makes those so difficult, especially today? Well, 16 is just not a great hole in pretty much everyone's opinion uh, that, that's playing today. Uh, <laughs> so you're just trying to get a ball, get a putter in your hand for two. Um, and it's it's just a it's 203 yards adjusted into the wind with a firm green that runs away from you on both sides, and has one shelf that you can land it into. So um, it was nice to kind of have, have a putter in my hand there. 17, it got lengthened, so you hit it to the same spot. You just have to hit driver now. And there's a driver seven iron into that tiny green that again pitches away from you uh, for the first half of it. So you just have to hit these like it requires a lot of imagination and then you got to pull them off you got to hit these like floating iron shots in places and then 18 is just a it's always a beast I don't think 18 is much different but 16 and 17 are as hard as they all as harder harder than ever right now how much were you uh, how much did Rory help you basically on 18 Rory helped me on 18 in terms of going first yeah um yeah so I th I think he hit a nine iron trying to just open the face and explode it out and um you know, I was thinking about that and I went to a wedge and I was actually fortunate that I hit it at the bunker instead of up the center of the green because it wouldn't have gotten there. Uh, so I got a good break there for sure, having watched his and then taken, but I didn't hit the right club either. It was, I needed to open a nine. My, his lie looked worse, but it came out hot and mine looked a lot better and, and came out very normal. Kind of warmish. Yeah, it's just the thing is, you know, if, if you, you just can't, you can't land it on, but if you land it short, it comes back 50 yards. You just you don't want to be there, especially in two. Um, I felt very fortunate to get in in five on 18 today. Jordan, if last week was the, the worst of your 
chip or your bunker play. What, what did you find in the three days since then that you were able to do what you did today? Yeah, I think I just got thrown off at the PGA. Um, I had a lot of really, really weird, difficult bunker shots there, and I think I just lost a little of my entry point. I, I didn't seem – I had a lot of, like, plug lies. I had – some like 30 yard ones from upslopes and then colonial is normally the best ones. And I just, you know, I think I sent one too far once and then I just bailed on a bunch. So I just needed to get in and um, just get in and, and work on it. It's the one part of the game I've worked the least on since I injured my wrist because it's the one thing that hurts the most was flicking a bunker shot over like that. Um, and so we held off on that for a couple of weeks and then I put a lot of work in this week with it and it felt fine and, and it, it certainly yielded results today. It's not going to bother you every day the rest of your life, but a month after um, it, it hurt, how's it going? Is it yeah, it's fine. I mean, I, I wouldn't, um, I don't, I don't notice it. It's, uh, it's random little things like pushing a door wrong or getting jammed. It's not, it's not a uh, bother out on the golf course at all. I just tape it up to make sure that it doesn't get any worse. Jordan, just want to ask about your day yesterday with Steph. Looked like a pretty special day out there. What were your thoughts? Yeah, it was great. Um, I, it was like the one pro am that I wished I played 18 holes in. Um, they went to the nine and nine, and I was like, "Ah, I was, I've been, I'm having a lot of fun. Let's let's go to the back." But I have, I play a lot with Jake, and um, you know I've played with Steph before. But I got out. They 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 outstruck me significantly. I mean, they striped it. I was all over the map to start yesterday morning, and I was like, "Man, these guys are showing me up. They don't even they don't even play golf." So. Um, it was it was a blast. I mean, you see the influence that Steph has, you know, in between the ropes. You know, we're walking and uh, no one's even looking at me. You know, they're all looking back for where Steph is. I'm like, all right, I'll just walk right to, through to the next tee. And um, just the influence he has on every generation. I mean, he's just done things the right way. And, you know, I'm such a massive fan of his that it's really cool to just spend time talking with him. Awesome. Thanks, Jordan. Thanks, Jordan.